Welcome to my Linksys Velop Whole Home Wi-Fi Mesh Extender Review. Now at the outset, I would say if you are home working during the time of the coronavirus, don't go buying this thinking it is a cheaper alternative to the main system. You do need the Velop system, which I shall show you right now. But I just want to make that clear at the outset. Don't go buying this thinking it's going to work on its own because it won't. This is an expander. Anyway, let me show you the original system. Now this is the original Linksys Velop system pod. I've got another one of these upstairs uh, providing Wi-Fi around the house. The blue light at the minute shows that it is on. So that's what the original thing looks like. Now we need one of these to hardwire into your cable modem. The second one of these simply plugs into a power point and it connects and links to this one as will the mesh extender but I just thought I should show you what that looked like from the outset compared to the extender option. Well I just wanted to get that out of the way at the start to show people that you need the develop system in order to use this. Wouldn't want people buying this by mistake. You'll notice this one unlike the little module on the side I just showed you, plugs straight in to a mains socket, meaning it's a lot easier to place around the house. Now what is there to like about this, besides the convenience of just plugging it in with no lead hanging around in there? So what are some of the features listed on the box? Self-healing, not quite sure what that is. App setup, I will show you that. Parental controls, you can set up this fell-up system to easily control your kids' internet time, restrict certain websites, and give guests access as well. Future-proof Wi-Fi, sleep plug-in design, but the key thing about this is it provides expanded coverage for your Wi-Fi throughout the house. So what is there to like about the mesh extender? Well, first of all, because it gives you an extra 1,500 square feet of coverage, all you've got to do with this, you've not got the cable or anything to plug in, you're simply going to plug this unit into the mains. Just before I unbox it, I would say it comes with a wide range of security features on here where you can set things like your kids' internet time, you can restrict certain websites, etc. on here. But I will go through the whole setup of this. It's not super sexy and exciting, I will say, on here. As this is the first time yours truly to open the box. This is our Linksys Velop Mesh Extender. Quite slim profile, probably just over an inch on there. As I say, nothing overly complicated about this one. In fact, we've just got the little reset button on the side there, and that is the only control on it. And this little light is quite important. When it's blue, you're getting good internet connection through there. When it's red, you've got a problem, and you may need to press the reset button, or you may need to reset the your main modem button. Anyway, let's peel that film off. Read the instruction manual. Now you're thinking that's not that big. It doesn't need to be. This is very, very easy. It should be very, very easy indeed to set up. So what have we got to do? Open the Linksys app on a mobile device. Log in. Find and tap set up new product in the main menu. Select add another node and follow the setup instructions. So let me do exactly that. Okay, got the Linksys app already on my phone here. Apologies, my screen took a bit of a blow the other day and I've yet to uh, get around to changing it. Already using the Linksys product. So log in. And to log in, all you've got to do is put your email address and your password in. So I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, well, I've logged in and it says getting route to settings. Do you want to receive notifications when any node loses connection to the internet? No, I'm not worried about that. Okay. 17 devices. 17 devices. I don't have that many devices. I think it just adds them to the list on here. I'm going to find a tap, set up a new product in the main menu. I'm guessing on there, scan down, set up a new product, add a node, another node to Moriarty. Now it says, tell us why you're adding a node to extend my Wi-Fi with a, with a new child node to improve my network by replacing the parent node. So we're going to be extending the Wi-Fi one there. Linksys would like to use Bluetooth. Okay. Agree terms and conditions. How to place your node. General rule of thumb. Okay. So now roughly I'm going to go and put... So now I need to go and find out where I'm going to, exactly where I'm going to plug this in. Hit next, plug in the node and turn it on. Okay, well for the minute I'm going to have to plug in my Linksys fill up mode here. I'm just going to leave that on its side there. Now I'm going to hit next on the app and it's going to do absolutely nothing. Uh, waking up your mode. Make sure that your node is plugged in and your phone is near to it. Now it says it can be a few minutes so we shall wait and see. Like Linksys allow location access, so we'll click allow on that. Keep the phone near any node you're setting up, yes. Make sure the node's light is solid purple. It now says, is the node blinking purple? Yes, it's blinking purple. 
Seems to take a long time from you pressing it to connecting it. Adding this note to your velop system. See the little bar up in a minute. This could take up to six minutes. So let's come back to that when it's done. Okay, now while it's in setup mode, it's blinking purple on that. Applying settings from your other nodes. It says here, feel free to walk away, but leave your phone near the node you're setting up. Syncing no details with the app. It's been going for a couple of minutes now, but it uh, says it can, oh, there we go. And as if on cue, looking good. Your new node is looking ready to go in this spot. And we've now gone to a solid blue light on the node. So I'm gonna click next. Okay, your next says, please wait. Let's give it a name. At this stage, it asks you to give your new node a name. Apologies that the screen is not showing particularly well, but I just type in a new name for it. Simple as that. It's like a giant pause every time you press something on the app. Just be aware, there's a large pause every time you press a button on the app. Nothing to worry about. Success, you set up a node. A solid blue light on the front of your node means it's online and working properly. A solid blue light on the top. So we're in business, so press next. So there does seem a large pause every time you press a button. Set up another node, so we're gonna hit no, that's it for now. Future updates will happen overnight automatically and only take a few minutes. Update time depends on the speed of your internet, but usually takes about 15 minutes. Your Wi-Fi will restart once the updates are complete, downloading new firmware, so I'm gonna leave that to do its thing. Now, while it said it's refreshing the system take about 15 minutes, that's probably only been about three or four minutes and it's already restarting the system, which it says it will do once the update is complete. Well, never mind, 15 minutes the update took a mere five or six minutes to the firmware, it's fully automatic and then there is nothing more you need to do. And once the blue light is on on your Linksys, that means your mesh extender is fully working and you've got increased internet coverage throughout your house. Anyway, Hope you liked this video. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.